Simply Fatima. I'm so excited that you're here for another video. Today's video, we are talking about the handbag that I am currently obsessed with. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what handbag this is. And if you don't, just stay tuned to see what the handbag that I am currently obsessed with. Excuse me, where are my manners? If you're an Odie but a goodie, welcome back. And if you're a new, welcome to Simply Fatima, where we talk about all things luxury and luxury handbags. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You might want to. I want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. The winner of this giveaway will win these Gucci sunglasses. We are very close. We are very close to 500 subscribers and I thank you all very, very much for all the love and support. And I just want to say, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded and I'm so excited to sit right here um, in front of the camera and talk to you guys about my current handbag obsession. So if you're obsessed with handbags just like I am, just stay tuned to see what handbag I am obsessed with and maybe you'll be obsessed with it just like I am. So let's get right into the video. So I don't wanna keep you all waiting. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the handbag. So the handbag that I am currently obsessed with is this Prada Duet Shoulder Bucket Bag. That's what they call it, the Prada um, Duet Shoulder Handbag. It is the bucket bag that I have been looking for. If you go back to my video about the Nano No Way and why I returned it, I was saying I was trying to find the perfect handbag. Um, ever since I uploaded that video, I had gotten DMs in, on Instagram asking me about how do I feel about certain bucket bags. Um, the most bucket bag question that I received was about the Gucci Marmont bucket bag that they have, which I really do like. I contemplated getting that bucket back for a very, very long time, but at the same time, I wasn't drawn to it. I know I had seen this bag on the Prada website, I wanna say back in 2018, 2017, don't quote me, I can't quite remember. And I thought this was one of their like cl classic timeless pieces that I didn't think would go out of style. Now, they still have the same style of handbag in the nylon material on their website. It runs for $1,400 and it comes in a variety of colors, but they used to have this leather bag on their website, but they don't have it on there anymore. So I had to get this bag off the pre-loved market and I have been searching and stocking this bag for a very long time. I know sometimes on Fashion File, this particular handbag in this style and this color will sometimes pop up on Fashion File every now and then, but but it wouldn't be like something that you would see like a, um, a pochette accessoire all the time, like cycling through fashion file. So the one day that I did see this particular handbag cycling through fashion file, I just went ahead and hopped on it because it, it takes a while for one of these bags to hop on. I know last weekend or the weekend before I was on fashion file website, they had this exact same bag on there and they also had a gray one. I was tempted to get the gray one because that's how much I am obsessed with this bag. But I do know um, earlier this week on the real real, they had the um, navy nylon with um, Go Hardware on their website running for 800 when this same bag runs for 1400 on the Prada website and somebody snatched it up just like that. But they got a, themselves a good find. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I do want the nylon one and the nylon one is on my wish list because nylon is so like carefree. You can just easily wipe it down once it gets dirty. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this cutie right here. So this cutie, um, Again, I got off the pre-loved website. It comes in this very soft, slouchy leather, which I like. It is a pretty delicate leather, but I haven't babied the bag, so and I haven't gotten any scratches on it. It is a bucket bag, um, so it has a drawstring pull in the front that is made um, the drawstring tabs is made out of Safiano leather and the pool is made out of Safiano leather, but the strings themselves is this soft leather material. Again, it is a bucket bag. I've been trying to find the perfect bucket bag and I finally found one. Um, the, the strap right here, the handle, it is made out of Safiano leather and you cannot remove the handle. You can remove the strap. The strap that I have on this bag is from another Prada bag that I have. The strap does not come with the bag. I'm gonna also show you the original strap that comes with the bag, but the original strap 
can be worn as crossbody or shoulder strap or crossbody or as a regular shoulder bag um but it is not as thick as this and that's a con to this bag well i feel like it is because with a bag of this nature that holds a lot you i think it should come with a, a thicker strap um but you can always buy thicker straps from like you know the pre-loved market or like coach or michael kors to replace um as well and the strap is a leather strap but i'm gonna show you that it does have a front pocket a functional front pocket you can put card holders lip balm cash and it has the prada crest on the front of it just like that all of the hardware on this bag is gold any bag that you well any bag that i've seen that's the duet shoulder bag all comes in gold hardware um if there's any bags that come in silver hardware correct me but so far i've only seen them in gold hardware i love the gold detailing around the bag i love the gold the gold zipper track and the zipper pool has prada um hot stamped in it as well so again i said i got this pre-loved i got this off of fashion file and when i ordered the bag it came with its original dust bag strap and box so i'm going to show you that as well so this is the box that the bag came in um and the bag is soft calf skin safiano mini bucket bag that's what it says right here on the box because this is the original box um and inside i have the original strap so this is the original strap that comes with the bag it is a, a very a very thin strap that is adjustable with gold hardware and it has product engraved on it it has two lobster clasps um, to clasp the straps on the bag and you just clasp them on the side of the top handle. And in comparison to my other Prada strap um, that is adjustable, you can just see the difference in strap sizes. So the thicker the strap, it wears more comfortable. The thin strap, if you have a lot in the bag, it does like dig into your skin and makes it very uncomfortable where you just wanna hold it top handle when you're carrying um, the bag with the strap. So I just, you know, I'm saving the strap for another bag. Um, I don't really use this bag or use this strap with this bag. Um, and then of course fashion file always sends their bags in their fashion file um, dust bag and here is the original prada dust bag um, that the bag came with and the prada tissue paper at the bottom of the box so yeah the the bag did come with its authenticity card um which is right here um so this is the authenticity card right here and it is from Prada like I said so I just keep this in my front pocket so now I'm gonna show you everything that fits inside of this little cutie and to close you pull the little drawstring tabs and then it closes like it singes at the top and then you have a nice little bucket bag I feel like it's a really safe bucket bag like your hands can't really go in there or, and like I, I would be I would be able to feel and notice if someone's hands is going in the bucket bag um, I'm gonna show you what this bucket bag looks like on me before I show you what fits inside so for height comparison I'm 5'3 and this is what the bag, where the bag falls on me with my strap so right now it's um, it falls like at my thigh area so this is what it looks like as a crossbody. It falls on me on my shoulder as a crossbody. It falls right at like my thigh area. So this is what this bag looks like on me. So now to show you everything that fits inside of this bag. So I'm just gonna open it up. So in my front pocket, like I already mentioned, you can fit a card holder. Um, lip gloss cash, but I have my authenticity card right in the front and that fits perfectly unlike the Palm Springs mini the front pocket is very functional so Let me just unsinge my bag 
And so this is what the inside of my bag looks like right now. You can just see everything that I have inside, but I'm gonna show you one by one of everything that I have inside. So first up, I have my cell phone. Again, I have a regular iPhone 10. Um, you know, it's not a plus or anything, it's a regular iPhone 10. For the sake of this video, I just grabbed a bottle of juice that was near me um, just to show that you can fit a bottle of water in this bag. A bottle of water will fit because I have a juice in there. I also have my Louis Vuitton monogram uh, key pouch, which is acting as a card holder right now. So I have all my cards inside of here. You can never be too sanitary these days, so I do have a um, pack of hand wipes that are in here um, in my bag that I carry with me. I carry my AirPods, and of course, if you don't want to put, if you run out of space in the main compartment, you can put your AirPods in this front compartment up here and they'll fit just fine. Same goes with your cell phone charger. I have my phone charger in the main compartment, but if you don't have any space in your main compartment, you can also fit it inside of the um, front pocket as well. Then I just have, I don't know why I have so many lip glosses, but I have three different lip glosses, a Bath and Body Works lip gloss, a lip gloss that I found on the dollar side at Target, not the dollar side, but the travel side, the travel section of the Target um, near me, and a Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Don't know why I have all these lip products, but I do. Again, you can't stay too, you can't keep your clean hands clean too much, so I do have a bottle of travel size hand sanitizer in my main compartment. And all what I have left is my mini pochette, and inside of my mini pochette I have travel size um, perfumes, my vaccine card, lip balms, lipstick, Advil, gum, breath mints, that sort of thing like a keep all. Um, so that's everything that is in my bucket bag. And I will show you the inside of my bucket bag. And you just see, it's just one main compartment. It's pretty dark in there because it's black. It has this nice um, fabric lining on the inside and then you have Prada in the back. And um, the lining on the inside is marked with Prada as well. And it is such a great bag. I love it, it's perfect. Like this was the bucket bag that I was looking for and I'm so glad that I have it. So I'm just gonna um, put all of my things back in my bag and um, show you again everything that fits inside. So a mini pochette that is filled to the brim cause mine is filled to the brim, fits perfectly inside. You can fit a juice bottle or water bottle inside of the bucket bag just fine. A key pouch, card holder, or a wallet will fit comfortably. My miscellaneous lip glosses fit perfectly fine in the bucket bag. Then we have AirPods and a charger that fits perfectly fine. And keep in mind, I don't carry too much. Um, these are like the main essentials, but if I wanted to carry extra, I can. Hand wipes, we're just gonna fold the hand wipes in half and just stick them inside of the bucket bag. Um, hand sanitizer and an iPhone 10 fits perfectly inside and I can close it um, without any effort, um, close it effortlessly. Um, another, you all know that I'm the queen of mini bags and according to Prada, this bag is considered a mini bag, but to me this bag is a small bag because a size small or medium bag because I can carry a lot more in it than I would a mini bag, but it's not large and overwhelming like a tote or large shoulder bag, which is really nice and I can still wear this as a crossbody or shoulder bag. And now that I'm like having to go into the office and work more um, and leave the house a little bit more than how I would last year, this bag is like the perfect in between mini, small, and medium, if any of that makes sense. Um, 
but I will if I can find any of these bags on fashion file I will link them in the description box down below the nylon version of this same handbag I will link the link to those and um, or the link to one of those in the description box that can then lead you to the Prada website that you can see the other colorways and options for this same handbag and nylon. If you like content like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget that I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway and the entry details will be in the description box down below. And until next time my loves, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.